Hailstones and coals of fire. Thou hast given me the shield of thy salvation. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at my presence. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Arcata, California. We're at the Freak Nasty Show on October 30th, 2009. A promotion company called the Rebel Base Collective. They used to throw parties in San Francisco. Apparently, these parties were a little bit too much fun. Cops came, shut them down. They've kind of rejuvenated, made themselves official. The first party is here in Arcata tonight at the Arcata Theater, bringing out one of the world's best DJs, Freak Nasty. It's snared in the work of his own hand. After party here in Arcata. Bright lights, bright lights, bright lights. When you started off in 91, there were no glitch processes. There were simple effects processes. What was your first favorite toy? Uh, just a plain old sampler, I think. And you know, it's, all the technology that we have now is still basically built around manipulating samples. You know, be it drum samples or chunks of music or however people put together their music that that basic technology is what allows the rest of it to happen. And I think for me, the first time I saw a sampler was the old on Sonic Mirage samplers, which is like a museum piece now. I think it had like two meg or four meg of RAM or something. And uh, when, I, when I first got that, that primitive sampler, I, I messed about with it a week, for a week. I brought it up my friend and I could see how a public enemy record was put together. Something clicked in my head. I was like, oh shit, so this is how it works. I suppose in the 80s when they had the old Fairlight synths and stuff, um, you know, you're paying $100,000 for a sampler, and then suddenly it was $6,000, then $4,000, then, you know? So uh, it got to the point where, as you well know, we all know people are making records in their bedroom. To be honest, there's so much stuff out there, I'm kind of bewildered sometimes looking around, you know? And I think for me, maybe one advantage of coming through the te technology over, the, um, over this whole revolution is that I kind of found a way of working that works for me. And I know some people sit down and they go, well, there's Logic and there's Ableton Live and there's Freaky Loops and there's this and there's hardware sequences and, there. and then there's old school and there's MPC. And they just sit down and go, shit, I don't even know how to start making a piece of music because there's 80 different formats and I know people can use them all. These kids that are 16, 17, 18, where do they, where do they start? Mm. I mean, it's great. That naivety that they have is brilliant, though, and that's what makes a new new way to technology. In some respects, the more you know, the less you are forced into making mistakes and experimenting. So sometimes you can be familiar with all these different types of technology, so you do it the same way you always did it, where some kid comes up and goes, I've got no fucking idea what to do with this, and just starts falling about with stuff and something crazy happens. It's not like you need crazy next level technology, you just need good ideas. You know, technology is never gonna make up, make a good idea for you. And I think there's, uh, I remember hearing some of the early breaks records where people starting to glitch stuff out and do stuff that hadn't been done before. And I used to imagine these guys having crazy shit. There was one kid in London who, who uh, used to make records with the same label. So I went around to his house and he was in a cupboard with one mixing desk and two effects units and that was it. And a sampler. And it was just, it, he was just managing to express what was in his head and it all comes down to ideas at the end of the day. You can have every program under the face of the sun if you don't have ideas, nothing's gonna come out. <laughs> 